Hi everyone, it's Allie with Bold North Frenchies and I have Kevin Hart Jr. Now I get asked a lot by people who buy a male dog and uh, are interested in studying him out. So I'm going to kind of do an A to Z on what you need to look for, what you need to do, what you need to consider before you stud your male Frenchie out. Now, first of all, um, I want to talk a little bit about making sure that when you purchase that male dog, not only is uh, he AKC registered, um, seeing pictures of parents and asking for help tests of parents. I always tell people every puppy is adorable and every dog is adorable, but not every dog is stud quality when you are looking at uh, bettering the French Bulldog breed, in my opinion. Now, um, for example, Kevin Hart Jr., his dad, Kevin Hart, is a lilac tan platinum. He has no pie, no brindle. He is extensively health tested. Uh, he is 15 pounds um, and he has an excellent, excellent temperament. Um, so he has produced some really, really great um, puppies and he is still working. So he is the future Kevin Hart Jr. So first thing we did, and a lot of people freak out right away when they get a puppy and they say, oh my gosh, his testicles have not descended. Now I wanna show you something real quick. So Kevin Hart Jr., he's tiny. He is, uh, how old are you now? He's about uh, four and a half, five months old, okay? His testicles now have just started descending. So most dogs, large breeds, their testicles will descend by eight to 10 weeks. When we're talking about smaller dogs and especially French Bulldogs, some of them, their testicles will not start descending until they are 16 weeks or maybe even a little bit older. If you get to six months and both testicles have not descended, then there may be an issue. Um, there is a condition where only one testicle um, descends and that probably would uh, count that dog out as a stud dog. He still could produce puppies, but as far as um, having that dog as a stud dog, I would not. Here's a couple things that your vet can do. A, make sure you're going to a reproductive vet, okay? Make sure you're going to a vet that works with breeders. B, have them ultrasound and see where that testicle is. And in many cases, they can massage that second testicle down so both are descended. So take that into consideration. Don't freak out right away if that puppy is eight to 10 weeks old and both testicles are not have not dropped. That is very common with the French Bulldog breeds, especially like a little small guy like Kevin Hart Jr. Um, as you can see, he's even super tiny for his age. Um, and it took a while for both testicles to drop. And let me tell you, they have, and the little boy is humping everything. <laughs> so the other thing that we have done with KJ, Junie, is we have health tested him. We health tested him through animal genetics. Um, you also uh, um, will want to DNA test them. Um, you want to, when you're studying them out, people will say, what does he carry? Can I see his DNA report? And Animal Genetics does that as well. So you can go on animalgenetics.us, you can order swabs, and you can order a color DNA test as well as a disorder panel, which is a health test. And make sure you are doing that, okay? The other thing that you are going to want to do is make sure that this that your boy uh, temperament wise is stud quality. Uh, I'm a big believer that temperaments and personalities are, are not only created in the environment, but they are also passed down. And so if you have a dog that maybe is just um, constantly aggressive, even though you work with them and stuff, it may not be the best dog for breeding. Um, you know, his dad, Kevin Hart Jr.'s dad, has the chillest, the best temperament. And I knew that uh, KJ would have the same, and he really does. He's just uh, loves everybody. And I'm really uh, optimistic that he's going to be a really great stud dog. Um, the other thing to understand is the stud market is very saturated. So we kind of have to have something special, whether it be bloodlines, uh, whether it be a, a good structure and uh, color panel. I think you kind of need it all in order to be competitive in this stud market. So for example, Kevin Hart Jr. is going to have a very good structure. Um, his dad and mom both have excellent uh, compact structures. They have a really nice tail nub, as you can see, uh, perfect in my opinion. Um, 
and uh, they have an excellent DNA panel. So he is a quad carrier. He can create a rainbow of puppies um, and really is just brings a lot to the table for uh, color DNA as well. He passed his health test with flying colors too. So according to the AKC, you can start studying your dog out at seven months old. Well, most dogs are not ready at that point, but when they do uh, reach that point, we do um, start giving them a, um, a supplement called OxyStud. Now, OxyStud is by Thomas Labs, or Thomas Pet, and it is basically a treat you give them every day that helps build up their count, their motility, their virility, and you can start doing that. Now, you, we collect all of our own studs, which means we collect semen from all of our, our studs, but some of you may still be going to the vet for that. I would say practice, have, have that dog go to the vet a few times for a collection and have your vet put the semen under a microscope and look at the count and motility and how it improves over time with regular collections and being on OxyStud. Um, I hope this was helpful. I always tell people, first and foremost, have the goal for your stud in mind that you'll use them for your own program. You love what they bring to the table so much that of course you want to use them for their, your own program. And when other people use them, then you stud them out. That's just a uh, cherry on top. So Kevin Hart Jr. and I say thank you guys so much <laughs> for tuning into our YouTube today. Make sure you also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff coming every single day. Have a good one.